All right, guys. So welcome back. I just wanted to, before I stick these, uh, swap these subs out, and uh, get the other one in the box and get it going and stuff. I wanted to show you guys them side by side, the tinsels inside, uh, the just the sh the sheer size of the subs themselves, how close they are in comparison. You can see it right there. They're like identical subs, same basket virtually the same motor besides being a dual voice coil and this one's a single voice coil on the right here uh, but uh, this is the XO right here on camera right now and this is the uh, DX 12 on the camera right now the DX is the single 4 ohm you can see the single leads in there and uh, uh, the XO is dual voice coil but you can see the leads in there, they're virtually the same size, same leads, and uh, they're basically the same size, basically the same subs. You can, if you had them inside of a box, you would not be able to see or know or tell the difference between either of them if they were in a box side by side. The only way you'd be able to know is by putting a multimeter on them and checking them with a multimeter or pulling, actually pulling them out of the box. All right, guys, so I'm going to get the DX inside the box. We're going to get this uh, video started, get it going. We'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys, welcome back. So just real quick, I got the box next door here. I'll show you the, the box specs. This is the DX. It honestly, guys, it comes in the same box as the XO. So if that tells you something about them being very similar, so they have the same basic magnet. The, I mean, the only difference is really, guys, is the dual voice coil to the single voice coil. So this is a single 4 ohm, and the XO is a dual 4 ohm. So that's your difference between the two. All right, so I'm going to get that down on here. There we go. I already got a little selection shows out. All right, I'm gonna get it going. In my next video, guys, I'm gonna show you, I bought a, I made my first, I guess, merchandise sweatshirt. So I'm excited to show show you guys. And hopefully I, that's something I can have available sometime in the future. All right, here we go. Now, I don't know what we're doing for power here. Let me just check. So we're sitting at, 11 ohms <laughs> So this is a single 4 ohms, so I don't think it's gonna be at 4 ohms. It could be I don't know All right, so 9 ohms 13 watts Now somebody said something in the last uh, in the comments in the last video about uh, the tinsels possibly touching the uh, the cone when the cone was moving. So that could have been a possibility of the noise I was hearing. I don't know if you guys actually heard it on the video. I didn't listen to it on the video myself. But this one again sounds really good for a single four ohm sub. Sounds really good. All right, so we're gonna get cracking on our... Oh great. We love commercials. All right, skip, skip. All right. So, oh yeah, I gotta bounce through this here. There we go. Okay, it should start off any second here. Oh, I can definitely give it a little bit more. And there goes that pop again. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm guessing now it's not the sub. I'm gonna say it's probably not the sub. All right, so. All right, guys, welcome back. So, here we, I just, I, I actually, you know what? I'm gonna post both the videos so you guys can see. I took uh, the polyfill out. I had some polyfill in there. I don't know what was making the noise, but I took the polyfill out. And I'm going to try doing the demo again and see if I still get the same noise. I don't know if it's actually coming through on the video or not. 
So I think I might listen to the video too and see if it's coming through on the video. Alright, here we go. So let's get this. I'm just going to start off right here. Okay, so now I'm not getting that sound anymore. So I don't know what that was. Oh, the dino's not even on here. Hold on. there for a high and that didn't sound very promising for going to 600 watts I'm gonna try it one more notch and I'm not gonna do it for long the sub sounds good don't get me wrong it's shaking the house it's doing a trick try one more and see how it does here that's yeah, already really moving a huge difference that one notch all right I'm gonna put it on dyno power and see what we get here I wonder if it's the wires I'm gonna try to tighten up the wires inside. But that really makes no sense because if the, if it's the wires, it shouldn't have been making any noise with the polyfill inside of it. All right, that's enough of that. Let's back it up. I'm gonna see what we got here. 267 okay so I'm gonna do this one more time I'm gonna take it out I'm gonna tighten up the wires I'm gonna kill the uh, the extra wire inside so there's no extra wire inside and see what it does at that point all right guys so we'll be right back stay tuned don't go anywhere I really want to get more than uh, 267 watts out of this guy all right we'll be right back all right guys, so we'll come back again. So, I just took, now I have all the polyfill out. There's no more polyfill in here. Uh, there's no way in hell that the tinsels are touching the cone. It's impossible, unless this thing was doing like 100 centimeter or 100 millimeters X max, and no. So it's not touching any tinsel leads. No tinsel leads are touching anything. Uh, then I was thinking that it, uh, the wires for the dual voice coil were slapping the sides or something, hitting the sides as the, the air was moving. There's no dual voice coils. There's no extra. There's no wires that are extra. There's only the one set of wires running from the box to here. So I took the extra wire that was in there and I uh, I zip tied it off for now. I'm hoping that this fixes the problem I also had a loose screw so I put a piece of tape over on top of the screw hole so let's get it going and let's see what we got here I'm really kind of excited I want to see this thing put out some power and I want it to impress me nothing wrong with that right all right so let's start off here. I'm just gonna go on. Yeah. Let's see. All right, we'll just get right into it. It's not too big in hitting the the wall. 
That's impossible. All right, let's put it on some dyno power here. Let's see what we got. sounded actually pretty clean and we got 827 so it took 827 that time around let's try one more just just on the baseline when it goes into the base what do we got 6.1 ohms so that's not bad it's at 6.1 ohms giving us 827 watts that's really not that bad and it seemed like whatever that noise was, it kind of cleaned it up now. So I'm thinking it was the speaker wires hitting the sides of the box or hitting the bottom of the box, something hitting in the box. Or it could have been this little hole that was here that I covered up with, uh, what's that tape called? Gorilla tape, I covered it up with Gorilla tape. All right guys, so I'm gonna call that the video I'm gonna say I'm happy I I went back and I did all this I think we got excellent results and I got a surprise for you guys I can't wait to get the video started I'll give you a hint he's the Lord of bass not American bass he's the Lord of bass so guys, we'll be back real soon. Stay tuned for that video. Don't go anywhere. Take care of yourselves and each other, guys. Be good. Peace.